Okay, so let's read the Bible. Um, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. Hold on. Let's change it to ESV. Stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning. And be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks blessed are those servants whose master finds awake when he comes truly i say to you he will dress himself for service and have them recline at the table when will and when and he will come and serve them. No, <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Let me, let me start over. You must be ready. Stay dressed for action and keep ready. You must be ready. Stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning. And be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks. So immediately, blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake. When he comes, truly I say unto you, he will dress himself for service and have them recline at the table and he will come and serve them. If he comes in the second watch, or in the third, and finds them awake, blessed are those servants. Now, during the Jewish times, there's only three watches, but during the Roman occupation, there was up to four watches. But know this, that if the master of the house had known at what time the hour and, and uh, known what, uh, at what the hour the thief was coming, he would have left his house and he would have left, he would not have left his house to be broken into. Key detail. I got to read the key details. <laughs> you also must be ready. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, you are, are you telling this parable for us or for all? Does he answer this question? And the Lord said, who then is the faithful and wise manager? Whom? His master will set over his household and to give their portion of food at the proper time. Blessed is the servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all his possession. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the male and female servants, and eat and drink, and get drunk, the master of the servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour when he does not know, and will cut him in pieces and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant, who knew his master's will, but did not get ready, 
or act according to his will will receive a severe beating. But the one who did not know and did what uh, did what deserved a beating will receive a light. But the one who did not know and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. Everyone whom much is given of him much will be required. And from him to whom they entrusted much will be uh, will demand the more. This has um, implications to someone's life also in heaven, but mostly hell here. Your hmm. I don't think you're gonna be beaten in heaven, so I would say mostly hell. Uh, no, uh, not peace, but division. I came to cast fire on the earth and would that it were ready, already, that it were already kindled. I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how great is my distress until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, in one house, there will be five divided, three against two, and two against three. They will be divided, father against son, and son against the father, mother against daughter, and daughter against mother, mother mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. Interpreting the time, he also said with the, the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, and you say at once, a shower is coming, and so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, There will be a scorching heat, and it happens. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the of earth and sky, but why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Okay, I'm going to stop here. You guys uh, have a good day. This is what I'm basing it off of. Oh, wait. It goes up to... Uh, let's continue. Settle you with your accuser. And and why do you not judge yourself what is right? As you go with your accuser before the magistrate, make an effort to settle with him on the way. Lest he drag you to the judge and to the judge hand you over to the officer and the officer hand you over uh, put you in prison. I tell you, um, you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny. Okay, this is the uh, section in scripture here, uh, Luke 12, verses 35 to 59. Um, and it's also on the website which I don't really have, but yeah, it's on the website there. So this is, are you ready and watching? Have a good day.